In this video, I'm going to explain what Lovable Cloud is, what Lovable AI is, how to use these features, what it costs, and how you can access the cloud free until the end of 2025. Lovable Cloud, what is it? The best bet is head to the official documentation, which is not very easy to find. You need to scroll down to the bottom of the main page, click on support, click on documentation, click on features, and then go to Lovable Cloud. So here we have it, Lovable Cloud is a full stack cloud application that takes care of every part of your application. It looks after the, the front end and it powers the back end behind the scenes. It also uses Soupbase as a open source foundation. So you get a production ready application from day one. Lovable Cloud scales as you grow. It is secure by default and they say it's cost effective. And this is where things get a little bit interesting. So what they are saying until the end of 2025 is that you will get a $25 free usage per month when you have a workspace. And what that means is if you're on say a pro plan with hundred credits a month, you also get $25 usage against all your cloud costs. Now we can dive a little bit deeper on this if we click on usage based cloud and AI pricing and what we see is Lovable includes cloud hosting and built in AI pricing in all plans including the free plan which is kind of weird but what they say is it is usage based pricing so even if you're on a free plan you still have to pay the costs associated with the cloud and AI. However until the end of the year, every month, you'll get a $25 free credit. Now, we need to dig a little bit deeper on this to understand it. Every workspace receives free monthly usage, but $25 is a cloud balance for your app hosting, and you get $1 AI balance for the AI features. And I'm going to show you what these AI features are in just a moment. So you can see this is a temporary offering. It says it's subject to change until the end of 2025. Every workspace gets the $25 cloud and the $1 AI per month credit, even on the free plan. If you want to spin up some sites and test this out, it's a great time to do it. Now, if you want to see where you can control the AI cloud and the lovable AI in terms of whether it will be used when you build an app with it, head over to your settings page and click on tools, and then you'll see cloud enabled and AI enabled. So they're both on, but you can control whether they're actually used when you prompt it. So I've got ask each time for cloud and I've got always allow for AI. And what this actually means is if I tell it to use open AI or if I tell it to use Gemini, it will actually use Lovable's API key and charge me for it. And I won't have to go and generate an API key and enter it in. All right, let's test this out and see what it can do. First, I'm going to need a project requirements document. What I want to build is a AI YouTube script writer. So if I go over here, I'm in the ambitious AI community. This is totally free. If I go into the classroom here and I click on SEO resources, you can click on this one here, PRD for Lovable Cloud AI. If you want to test this out, totally free. It'll be the first link in the description. If I go back to Lovable, I'm just going to paste this in. And the reason I'm choosing this is it requires a backend authentication and it also requires an AI model to generate the script. So we get to test it all. Let's just hit go and see what happens. Now you can see because I had enable cloud ask every time, it asked me, do I want to use the cloud? I'm just going to hit allow and away we go. It also needs the AI model, but I've said just approved every time so it should hook up open ai and we'd be able to generate that that content without doing anything else so here's our app this is designed to generate youtube scripts based on a little bit of input first thing you might want to do if you're using lovable cloud is check out what it is actually set up so if you click on the icon up here the little cloud we can see we've got an overview got database users i haven't created a user yet storage nothing stored, edge functions. This is the script, the edge function that goes out to the AI model using Lovable's API key and generates that YouTube script. We have secrets and logs, nothing yet because I haven't done anything. So now not entirely sure this is all going to work, but in theory, I should be able to sign in because we enabled authentication. 
Okay, so I've been authenticated and we can check what's in our database now. If I click on the cloud again, we go back to users. You can see one user has signed up 2nd of October and there is the email address. Next, I just want to generate this script and this is going to trigger using Lovable's OpenAI key. I'm just going to put in here how to rank number one on Google using long tail keywords. I've got a choice of casual, professional, energetic. I think I'll just go casual and we will see if this works. Alrighty, so it looks like our script is generated okay. We'll take a quick look. YouTube script, how to rank number one with long tail keywords, got a video title, and all the other bits and pieces we might expect. Not going to go through it because that's not really the point. If we go back onto our cloud icon, if we click on database, we can see we have a script. So if we click in here, you can see here, here is the script. So each time a script is generated, it's also stored in our database. Lovable Cloud has taken care of absolutely everything. We're using their API key. We're using their integrated database, which is based on Superbase. And from now until the end of the year, there is no cost to do this except for the credits required to actually generate your application. There's no cost for the cloud or the AI if you stay within that $25 and $1 credit.